Hey guys, it's Ethan here from Extreme RC 4x4. Today I thought I would make a quick video talking about um, some soldering basics uh, because towards the holiday season a lot of people are probably going to be getting into the hobby and I think soldering is definitely one of those skills that uh, goes along with uh, the hobby. But um, if I wasn't in this hobby, I probably wouldn't have learned how to do this. So uh, I'm just going to show you guys um, some basics here. So we can turn our soldering iron on, let that heat up while I'm talking here. Um, a good set of wire strippers is always nice. Uh, I'm working with 14 gauge wire today, which is uh, a pretty good size wire uh, for what I'm working with. And we're gonna start by just uh, stripping the end of it. I like to uh, find the size that works and then uh, kind of rotate it around so that it gets all of it. And then you can just pull it off. Now we have our exposed wire and I like to uh, twist it a little bit. And something else I'll be using here, uh, this is a set of helping hands. Uh, it comes with a magnifying glass that you can put on it, but I took it off because it was kind of difficult to balance it all right, and I kind of have the hand set up a little weird, but uh, I'll show you how it works for me. And what I found works best is if we uh, clip this a little bit further back uh, from where we're going to be soldering, because uh, it won't support it as much, but when I clip it up here, uh, as it heats up this uh, insulation here uh, the clamp kind of like sinks into it and leaves some nasty marks on it so the soldering guns up to temperature or so it says uh, uh oh just came unplugged there so this is a solder I like to use um, I don't know if there's any resin core solder it works really good for the soldering that I do and I also find that it works pretty good for uh, the brazing I do also so if you haven't already you can use just uh, general clippers to uh, cut your wire to the right length and this is uh, like tip cleaner for the soldering gun uh, it works pretty good and I'll show you how that works you just uh, dip our soldering gun and it uh, makes the tip all nice and shiny again so now we can go ahead and uh, tin this uh, this wire here all we're going to do is put a light coat of solder on it And um, you want to make sure you're in a pretty well ventilated area when you're doing this. Uh, go ahead and twist it around to the other side. Sometimes it doesn't quite get it. But you want to make sure that you're heating up the wire so that the solder kind of uh, joins with the wire. You're making a joint and not just uh, having the solder sit on top of it because the solder will melt at a lower temperature then the wire will join with it, so to speak. So uh, here you can see our wire, now that it's been tinned here, it's really not all that much. Um, there is a little bit of crud on it from the tip of my soldering iron, but uh, that's okay. These don't need to be perfect, but um, that's the tinned wire. Now we can go ahead and we're going to tin the Dean's plug, because that's what I'm going to be soldering on today. So we'll just put it on here, and we're going to solder on this side of it. So we can just heat this up, and... So this is really all the solder that you need to get on it, uh, not very much, 
but it will help us uh, when we're putting the wire on it'll help uh, create that joint so now I'll show you my weird helping hand setup these things are a lifesaver uh, really lets you keep two hands working on the soldering operation because hold the soldering iron and hold your solder So now that we've got that lined up, uh, this is just a uh, little handsaw, kind of a base. You run the saw through here. Um, I'm just going to use it to support the hand out here so that I can actually uh, put some weight or pressure on this joint to get it to uh, bond together or join. So what we're going to do here is just put pressure on it and we're going to heat it until the wire uh, sinks in. It starts to heat up the solder that's actually on the Dean's connector. And uh, this will actually make the strong joint. You don't want to just melt the solder because that won't be a very strong joint. It will be more brittle than it would normally be. And we can also put some more solder on it if it's necessary. And uh, do be careful because these hands can get hot, especially if you're uh, clamping onto the same material as what you're soldering to. So here's our uh, kind of finished joint. Uh, I could probably run in there and put a little more solder on uh, this side. We'll do that here. Alright, so to me, that looks pretty good now. Uh, it doesn't have to look perfect because we're going to cover it in shrink wrap like this one. I actually just, just uh, did this joint a few minutes before I turned on the camera. And uh, a quick tip for you guys, uh, all I'm working with is red wire today. And uh, if you don't have any black wire, you can sharpie the red wire black, and uh, in my opinion, it looks just as good. Uh, just kind of helps keep things a little more organized, and uh, you can make a little bit more sense out of the polarities of everything. So now, we can take our shrink tape and put it over that so nothing uh, contacts anything that it shouldn't. So these uh, nice pre-cut ones already came with uh, the Dean's plugs and you just want to use the smallest size that you can that will still fit over the wire and the joint covering everything properly. So that right there will do the job but you could probably go a little bit smaller. Now we can shut the soldering iron off because I'm done with it. and. The lighter's out of lighter fluid, and the torch won't light itself, so this is just what I'm doing to get by, but uh, it's best just to use a lighter like that in the background. That works pretty good most of the time. Uh-oh, started to burn that a little bit there.
so yeah it's a little bit overkill but um here you go this is the uh, finished product uh, lurks pretty good uh, I'm happy with it uh, the most important thing really is just not to have exposed wires and when you're soldering two joints next to each other uh, once you finish one just uh, go ahead and put the shrink tape over it so that you don't end up uh, soldering them together because uh, that wouldn't be any good but uh, thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe let me know if this was helpful to you and uh, if there's anything else you'd like me to explain uh, maybe something that you'd like to learn in the hobby or uh, things like that but anyways thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video